Da, 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 da. Hi everyone, it's me, Meteorologist Drew Tuma, and I want to welcome you to a new show we have called Learning with Drew. It's part of our Learning at Home series, and we're going to have so much fun here every Wednesday morning, right here, in my kitchen. It's just going to be me and you having fun with all things science, and we're going to do some fun experiments, and we're going to learn some cool things that you see every day in your outside world. I do want to give a quick shout out to this beautiful poster that was made by my friends, Aiden and Ava. Thank you so much, guys. I love this poster. It says, Learning with Drew, and that's what our title is for this show. So we're going to have some fun. Me and you, it's a conversation we're going to have here on a half-hourly basis. You may be watching us on Facebook, on our Facebook Live, on ABC7 News Bay Area. Hi guys there! You could also see us possibly on YouTube as well, and even our connected TV apps, maybe like Roku or Amazon Fire TV Stick. Thanks for watching us guys! And speaking of Facebook, if you do go to the ABC7 News Bay Area Facebook page, I have it open right here on my laptop, and there you can write me comments or questions live, like right now! Go to the page right now, ask me anything you want about science. I'll be checking in over the next 30 minutes, maybe just saying hi to you wherever you live or answering your questions. It's going to be a really fun time between me and you. You also, from time to time, might see my dog Dapper. Is Dapper around here? Dapper! Oh, come here! Come here! Are you being camera shy? Come here! He's being a little bit camera shy right now, but I promise we'll have some Dapper time as well. It's a nice little break to show you midweek that science is fun and we're going to learn some things. And everything we do right here in my kitchen is just going to be with supplies you have right here in your very own home. We're going to make it very simple for you to learn about cool things. And I, of course, being a meteorologist, and what's a meteorologist? A meteorologist is someone who studies the weather, everything that happens above the ground, whether that could be rain, or even snow, or tornadoes. Yeah, tornadoes are scary. We don't get many of them here in the Bay Area. But what we're going to focus on today is something that is very important for all of us, and that is the water cycle! Boom, 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 boom. Yes, the water cycle is so important for us to live here on Earth. It helps create the rain that lets our crops grow, especially in the Central Valley. It also allows our rivers and our streams and our creeks to replenish that fresh water from time to time and even that salt water in our oceans. Yes, the creek right in your very own backyard helps create rain that falls in the rainy season here in California. So the first thing we're going to need for our water cycle experiment is just a few very simple items. First, you're going to need some tape. It can be any kind of tape. It could be scotch tape. It could be duct tape. It could be painter's tape like I have right here because I was painting last weekend. So you need paint. That's the first thing. Not paint. You need, you need uh, tape. Very first thing you have right here. The next thing you're going to need is a Dixie cup. A very small cup. You probably have it in your bathroom. You may use it when you brush your teeth in the morning or at night. Grab one of these two. And the third thing you're going to need is a little Ziploc bag. The tinier the bag is the better because we're going to create an atmosphere in here for our water cycle. So grab those three things. I'll give you a couple minutes. Again, tape, a little small cup, and a little plastic Ziploc bag that you probably have in the kitchen with you. So why is the water cycle so important? And really, what is it? Well, you know that water, if it's the bay or the ocean right by the coastline, we need that body of water to create rain in our atmosphere. But what does that even mean, rain in our atmosphere? We need the sun during the day like it is right now. If you look outside your window, it's a gorgeous sunny morning in the Bay Area, and when that sun rises, it heats up the earth. You notice that with the warmer temperatures. And as the sun heats up the earth, what it actually does, it takes water from our oceans, our bay, our rivers, our creeks, our streams, 
and it actually moves it up into the sky, into the atmosphere. You can't even see that happen. It's an invisible gas that just rises called water vapor. And that water vapor gets right up into the atmosphere. And what happens? It cools down. And what do you notice when it cools down? It turns into a cloud. Those little water droplets turn into a cloud that you see in the sky. Those puffy cotton ball white cumulus clouds. Those are the clouds that form when water vapor condenses. And eventually when those drops get so, so heavy, that rain just falls down to the ground in the form of liquid, which is rain, or if it's cold outside, it falls into snow like you see in Tahoe during the winter months. And it just goes right back into our rivers, our creeks, our streams, our ocean, and the cycle just repeats once again. And we can create that right in a little Ziploc baggie, and that's what we're gonna do. So again, you just need tape, a little Dixie cup, and a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna create the water cycle right here at home. It's gonna be fantastic. Okay, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take the little Dixie cup, and you're gonna fill it up about halfway with some water from your faucet. So I have my faucet right behind me, so I'm gonna fill it up. And it can just be lukewarm water, not too hot, not too cold, kind of that Goldilocks area. So we have our little Dixie cup of water right here, about halfway. That's all you need. You don't need a ton of water in here, just a little bit of water. Okay, so we have our Dixie cup, and now we're going to get some tape. Pull a little piece of tape out, like that long. Just rip it off. And what we want to do, we want to take that little piece of tape, and we want to put it right on the bottom of that Dixie cup, right there. So we want our Dixie cup to stay up straight. So we have our tape on the bottom of our Dixie cup, and that's going to help to keep our Dixie cup straight up while it's in the plastic bag. Now, what you want to do, take your Ziploc bag, open it up. The smaller, again, the smaller your bag is, the better. We're going to create a little atmosphere right inside the Ziploc bag, similar to what happens outside your window every day. So we're going to take that Dixie cup that has that piece of tape on it, and we're going to place it inside that bag. We want to place it right in the middle of the bag so it sits up straight right on the bottom in the middle. So here we go. you want your bag to look like. Here, I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. You want your Dixie cup to sit right on the bottom of the bag, so it's sitting right up straight. So you have a little bit of water in here, about halfway full in your Dixie cup, tape on the bottom of the cup, and then you put the cup right inside the bag. I'll give you a second just to do that. It's really simple, just those three ingredients and then the water in the Dixie cup. So once you have your Dixie cup inside your bag, you do want to close it up tight. Like that. Okay, I'll give you guys a minute just to set that up while we go on to Facebook and see what people are saying. If they have any questions, again, you can go on ABC7 Bay Area, ABC7 News Bay Area on the Facebook page, and we're streaming live. You can ask me any questions right now, and let's see what people are saying. Hi Jose, hi Linda, how are you guys doing today? Hi Christina, Earl wants to know what time it is here. Right now Earl, it is 9, 10 in the morning and we are learning from home right in my kitchen. Hi Mateo. Okay, so you have your plastic bag with the Dixie cup inside taped to the bottom. Now, you want to take one more piece of tape, almost the length of the top of the Ziploc bag. 
and we're just going to tear that right off. And you want to take that tape and tape it right to the top of the bag. Like this. A little bit closer. Just so you can see. So you want to tape it right along the top of the bag. Like that. So again, you have your Dixie cup in here, tape on the bottom, water in the Dixie cup, and tape on top. Okay. So now what I want you to do is I want you to look around your house right now. Find the brightest window you can. We need a lot of sunshine for this experiment to work. We need the brightest window you have. So I'm going to give you a minute to go find that really bright window right now. And while you look for it, someone wants to say hello. It's time to see Dapper. Hi, Dapper. This is my puppy, Dapper. Can you say hi? Can you wave your paw? Dapper loves weather. Don't you love weather, Dapper? Oh, you're such a cute puppy. Hi, buddy. Hi there. Oh, yeah, you love all the rubbins, don't you? Yeah. Dapper, if anybody wants to know, is a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. He's six years old, going on seven right now. And he's the goodest boy, and he loves treats. Don't you love treats? Do you want a treat? Okay. Should we give Dapper a treat? He was being such a good boy. Okay, let's give Dapper a treat. Come here. Okay. Yes. Are you gonna do your tricks? Hang on, let's see if Dapper will do his tricks for us. Let's see. Dapper, can you sit? Can I see your paw? Can you sit again? Can I see your paw? Oh yeah, good boy. Boy, take it. That was a nice little dapper break. Yeah. Okay. While you're finding your sunny window, dapper needed more water, so I think it more water. Hang on one sec. There you go, buddy. Okay. So, have you found your sunny window, the brightest one you possibly can find? Perfect. So we are going to take our baggie with the tape on top, and we're going to tape it right to the window. I'll show you how. Okay, let's go to the window. Okay. So here's my window. Here's my baggie. And we are going to tape it right to the window. Like that. So this is what it's going to look like. You have your little bag taped to the window like that, just hanging in the sunshine. And we are actually going to leave it there for a little bit. It takes a little bit of time for our experiment to happen. So, while the experiment is look at some Facebook comments. Again, go to ABC7 News Bay Area on Facebook. Ask us any questions. Hi, Gary. We are here live every morning from my kitchen doing experiments. Hi, David. Hi, Dolores. Happy Earth Day, Susan. That's right. Today is Earth Day. We're celebrating the 50th anniversary. Can you believe 50 years of celebrating our Earth? And what a beautiful day to celebrate Earth Day. It's sunny outside. It's getting warmer. We have to protect our planet. And we're learning about the water cycle today. We just put our water cycle on the window right now and we're letting it sit. We want that water to heat up and evaporate. So we'll check back in on that experiment in one second. The second experiment we're gonna do, if you can see over my head, we're gonna talk about, what's that say? Yeah, a cloud in a bottle. Yes, you at home, 
can make a cloud right inside a bottle. Now, for this one, you're going to need your mom or your dad's help. So these are the ingredients we're going to need for the cloud in the bottle. So the first thing you need is a two liter clear bottle of pop or soda, depending on what you call it. The same thing. You'll probably find it in your fridge. Ask your mom and dad if you can use one of those bottles to use for this experiment. The other thing you're going to need help with your mom and dad are matches. You definitely need your parents for this one. Ask them for permission to help you out with this experiment. If not, if you don't have matches, watch me. I'll show you what we're going to do. And the third thing you need is warm water. So I'm going to give you a second to get these ingredients for the cloud in a bottle. Again, you need a two liter clear plastic bottle of soda, matches, ask your parents permission for this. You want them to help you out. Do not do this on your own. You want to use uh, an adult for matches. And then we're also going to get a little bit of warm water, again, from your faucet. So we're going to make a cloud doo -doo 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 -doo, in a bottle. And that's all a part of the water cycle. When that water, that gas evaporates into the air, it will cool as it goes higher and higher, and it will form a cloud out of that water. And again, once that water droplet gets heavier and heavier, it falls in the form of rain or snow. This is a really fun experiment. This is one of my favorite ones, cloud in a bottle. And it's really simple too. David, duct tape is okay for the last experiment. Happy birthday, everybody. And also, a lot of people want to know if this is going to be saved for later because your kids right now, they might be doing something different. Yes, this is going to live forever on abc7news.com and all of our connected TV apps like Roku or Amazon Fire TV Stick. So do not worry. We're going to have fun with these experiments, and they're going to last forever. So you don't have to worry if your kids aren't in here right now. Okay, so for this one, again, you need a soda bottle, matches, you need some parent supervision for this, and some water. It's pretty simple right now. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Sebastian. I'm just reading out the comments right here on our Facebook page on ABC7 News Bay Area. Again, you can connect here. Ask me questions about everything, and I'll answer them. Hi, Marcus. Hi, Anna. Hi, Anna's son, Aiden. Okay, so we have our bottle, our matches, and I'll be right back because I have to get more matches. One second. to be warm. You do not want it to be hot. You want it to be warm. Warm enough that you could touch it without having to pull your finger out of the water. So we want warm water out of this bottle. So we're going to go to my faucet. Boys for a great time warm. And then again, we're going to fill it up about a third of the way at the bottom. Okay. Okay. And we're just going to wipe off some of the water on the outside so this is easier to see. Okay. So now, we have our soda bottle, and you can see it's filled 
kind of a third of the way up here, right here. And again, this is warm water. You want it to be warm water for this experiment to work. Okay. So this, kids, is where you're going to need an adult to help you. We're going to take matches, and we're going to light the matches, and quickly drop them inside the bottle. Once we drop them inside the bottle, we're going to close it real, real fast, because we want the smoke to stay inside the bottle. So what is happening in here is you actually have two forms of water. One you can see, which is liquid water right here, and then within the soda bottle, there's another form of water in its gaseous state. It's actually water vapor. You cannot see it right now, but water vapor is crucial. It is critical. We need water vapor, that gas inside of here, to create a cloud. But on its own, water vapor, you can't see it. So we need those water molecules to attach to something. And what we're going to use for those water molecules to attach to something is smoke. And then you'll be able to see a cloud form in here. So again, we have two states of matter in here. We have a liquid state and a gaseous state. One is liquid water and one is water vapor in here that you can't see. Okay. So again, get your parents to help you out with this one. We're going to take some matches. And we're going to light them. We're going to quickly drop them in. Okay, we're going to shut this really fast, let the smoke stay in there, give it about 10 or 20 seconds. And then we're going to do it all again. So we're going to light our matches. And we're going to quickly drop them in. And then we're going to shut this real tight. Okay. So you have warm water in here. And then we just drop the matches inside. The last thing that we need to form a cloud is pressure. And what could we think that could cause pressure on our bottle? Hmm. Our hands. That's right. We're going to use our hands. We're going to squeeze the bottle to create pressure inside. And what clouds need to form, they want low pressure. They don't want anyone squeezing on the bottle. So what you're gonna notice is when we squeeze the bottle real tight, you're gonna see it's just a clear bottle inside. When we let it go, you're gonna see the cloud. So you wanna squeeze the bottle real tight, and let it go. Move a little closer so you can see it. So we're going to squeeze the bottle really, really tight. Remember, clouds don't like all this pressure. And once we let it go, you're going to see a cloud inside. Ready? <gasps> you see that? How cool is that? We're going to squeeze it really, really tight. And then let it go. You see how you can't see through the bottle right now? You can kind of see. That's the cloud inside. So again, we have those water molecules called water vapor attaching to the smoke from the matches inside. And when you release and you let the pressure go low, a cloud forms inside. How cool is that? Real tight. And then you let it go. Real tight. And then you let it go. That's a cloud in the bottle. How cool is that? You just created in your own home the things you see outside every day. A little cloud inside of our bottle. How do you do that? Dapper, was that cool? You guys see Dapper sleeping now. Should we take another Dapper break? Come here, Dapper. Dapper was staring at it and he just had a big smile on his face. Did you have a big smile? Oh, yeah, was that a cool experiment? I want to say that it's dog for cool experiment. Okay, so we 
just created a cloud inside of a bottle by using water, some matches, and just squeezing the bottle real tight and letting it go. The water as a liquid, then you have the water as a gas as water vapor, and then you have the smoke inside as little particles, and then you have the pressure on the bottle. And these are all things that happen constantly in our atmosphere to form clouds. How cool is that? And clouds are one part of our water cycle. Let's check on our water cycle. Remember that? We had the cup and the Ziploc baggie. Let's see how it's doing on our window. Ooh! How cool is this? Okay. So let's show you what's going on. So we have the sun beaming into our bag, right into that cup of water. And what happens, that sun is heating up that cup of water. And as it does, all that liquid water starts to evaporate as a gas. That's what you're seeing on the bag. Do you see how the bag, this bag, it used to be clear. And now we have little teeny tiny water droplets on it. Can you see that? All those water droplets. And when those water droplets get too heavy, ah, do you see that's a big water droplet? That's like if it rained right above you. And those water droplets, they drop all the way to the bottom. And that's rain right there. How cool is that? So again, the sun heats up the cup. Think of the cup as a river or a creek or even the ocean. So the sun is heating up that body of water right in there. Remember we put water inside that cup? And that sun heats the water and the water starts to evaporate and you can see those little teeny tiny droplets of water on the bag. And once those droplets get too big and too heavy, they start to form raindrops and those raindrops fall right down to the ground. And that rain helps to replenish our crops. It helps to bring water back to our creeks and streams. How cool is that? You created the water cycle right in your very own home. How neat. And remember, we only needed a few items to do that. It was just up, some tape, and you created one of the coolest and most important parts of our entire existence is the water cycle right in your very own home. How cool was that? That was so fun. And we had the cloud in a bottle. Neat, right? Aw, hi everybody. Remember, we're on Facebook right now asking your questions, saying hi. Hi, Marcus. Hi, David. Hi, Laura. So, what I want you to do, we created the water cycle, and a big part of the water cycle are our rivers, the bay, the ocean, the creek. I want you, before we see each other next week, to figure out which creek or stream or river is closest to where you live and find out what it's called. They all have names and they're all very important to the water cycle. And I want you to figure out what is the name of the creek or the stream or the river that's right in your backyard. Find the name and tell a friend or maybe tell your parents. It's really important to know the names of these rivers and creeks and streams because they are important to our water cycle and they allow the rain to fall or the snow to fall in Tahoe and we want to know what they're called because we want to take care of them. Of course, it's Earth Day today and we want to protect the Earth every day of the year, but especially today, we want to celebrate our Earth and how important it is to us. And one of the ways we can do that is keep our creeks, our streams, our rivers, our bay, and even our ocean clean. So just find the name of the closest one to where you live and tell a friend or tell a parent. Isn't that right, Dapper? Yeah, Dapper says, yes, it's right. 
Okay, so we are gonna wrap this up, learning from home, learning with Drew, right in my kitchen. And remember, we're gonna do this every Wednesday at 9 a.m. We're gonna have some fun, we're gonna learn some science. It's just simple things you can do. And the ways you can find me, there's a lot. You can go on your connected TV app, that could be Roku, that could be your Apple TV, that could be on Amazon Fire Stick, we're also on YouTube, we're also on ABC7 News Bay Area Facebook page, that's where this is streaming live right now. And my Twitter, I love Twitter, you can connect with me on there, I'm at DrewTumaABC7. And again, we're going to do this every Wednesday morning from the Learn From Home series with me, right here in my kitchen. And we're just going to have fun with science, I'm going to connect with you, and if you want, we had a beautiful poster made by our friends. And if you want to create a poster, let us know. Create one at home in your free time that says Learning with Drew, and we'd love to show them right here on our show every Wednesday at 9 a.m. If you create one, let me know on Twitter, at DrewTumaABC7, or even on our Facebook page at ABC7 News Bay Area. So we'll see you right back here, same time, same place, and remember, your homework assignment. Figure out the name of the creek or the stream, or maybe it's a river or a body of water like the bay or the ocean that is closest to you. Find out what it's called and tell a friend. Tell your parent. Tell anyone because it's important to know our creeks and streams, our rivers, our ocean. It's so important to our water cycle, and we want to keep it protected even on today, on Earth Day, the 50th anniversary. So I'm going to sign off. It was so fun having you in my kitchen. We'll see you right back here. Same time, same place. Let's see if Dapper will say one more goodbye. Maybe not. Come here, Dapper. Let's see. Dapper, will you say goodbye to everybody? I think that means goodbye. Bye, guys.